Yeah, so the brother that was up here, and I'm, I'm gonna get to your next question in a minute, but the brother that was up here was asking about reparations. He be on uh, Revelation 21 and 4. He asked about reparations. There ain't no reparations you finna get right now in this land. He just brought it out. We will not get reparations in this land under this captivity. Read. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. You hear that? So those are going to be your reparations. You black man, you receive that reparation of all your tears being wiped away from your eyes. This is not religion up here. We are commandment keepers. We are the, the obedient of the Most High God. So the reparations to God's people will be the tears wiped away from your eyes. That's right. For, 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 it'll be for the, for the healing of his people. Give me Jeremiah 16 and 14. It'll be for the healing of his people. Okay, the These are your reparations. The Bible yeah, speaks about the redemption cool, of his people. You might get part hey, bro. Hey, listen, listen to this. Listen to this. I know you came up, you got questions. You try to take pictures? From the background, me and you all. Y'all want that? that no, nah, it's all good. Right, this is what's going to happen with us. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. Uh -huh. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, uh -huh. that it shall no more be said. The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So, so the Most High God go come and bring us up out of this land. Uh -huh. Read. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the lands of the north. From the land of the north. This is the land of the north that we will be brought up out of. What's your question, bro? Uh, I know you. I know you got some. I don't forget just that quick. Oh, hey, that's all right. Yeah, I that's all right. Just that quick. I got tons of them. You, you, you'll remember in a minute. Yeah. So, so do you know who you are according to the Bible? That you know your nationality? Well, he said I was. I'm not black. What do I put on there if I'm not black? Right, right. So you got a choice to put on the application what you want. They just giving you options. The options that been made. You know, those are options we've been given. So they give them to you again on the application. And, and, and by not knowing, you put down uh, African American or black or Hispanic. You know? So so this, this is your real nationality according to the Bible right here. On the right side. Right, so that's what they tell you. But what you got on the left side of this side? What's that name right there? Judah. So, so your father is the so-called African American, is he? Or, or you can keep reading, bro. Right? I'm looking at him. All right, Levi, Ephraim. Okay. So more than likely, your forefathers, your father, is one of these names right here. More than likely. So you are a son of the Most High God. That's right. That's right. You'll see his people who he chose. You know he only chose one group of people. One group. One group of people. Isaiah 44. One group of people he only chose. He didn't choose everybody on the face of the earth. That's why in Revelation it said the tears of those people will be wiped away. He gonna bring us from the land of the north of Jeremiah. Read. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse one. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. You hear that? He chose Israel. He didn't choose everybody on the face of the earth. Joel 2.27. He, he never chose another nation for himself. The Most High God got a, a special out of, out of everything on the face of the earth. Read. The book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 27. Uh -huh. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, uh -huh. and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. So he said he's the Lord our God and none else. What does that say? He ain't saying a lot, ain't he? They're saying that we are the ones he chose. And he didn't choose nobody else. That's what they're saying. So the Most High God got a special of everything on the face of the earth. Did you know that, sister? He gave his five to the 
Most High God got a special of everything on earth. The Most High God loves a special land, man, it's better than others. The Most High God loves a special water better than others. So why is it why is it so hard to realize that the Most High God loved the black man, the Hispanic man, and the Native American Indian Bring it up. more than any other people on the face of the earth? We know why these are the words of the Bible. Moses, now this, this is a description of Jesus the Christ. We're not saying that this is Christ, but this is a, a better depiction of Christ than what they gave you. This is a lot. Read what you got. The book of 2 Ezra chapter 5 and verse 23. And said, O Lord, that bear is rule of every wood of the earth, and of all the trees thereof. Thou hast chosen thee only one vine, and of all the lands of the whole world. Thou has chosen thee one pit. Hold on. It said he chosen one vine. There's a lot of vines out here, ain't it? Yeah. But the Most High God said he chose one vine. Read. And out of all the lands, one pit. Read. And of all the flowers, there are one lily. Did you know the Most High God got a special lily? A special flower? So when you, when you start to realize these things, you start to realize it's not hard to see that the Most High God got a special people. Read. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast built thee one river. So he got one river to himself. Read. And of all building cities, thou hast hollowed Zion into thyself. That's Jerusalem. Read. And of all the fowls that are created, that has named thee one dove. He got one, he got one dove. You bring it he up. got one bird in the sky. Did you know that, brother? At the bus stop. At the bus stop with the shades on one hat. Did you know that? I, I know. So we are here to teach you according to what the Bible says, not according to what your mama and daddy and your preacher and your church say. Read it, bro. And of all the cattle on, that bro. has made, right, that has, and all the cattle that are made, that has provided thee Please one sheep. And among all place. the multitudes of people, nah. that has gotten thee one people. So he got thee one people which are the children of Israel. Read. Right. Read. Thou has got thee one people, uh -huh. and unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. A law that is approved of all, Yusuach 17 and 11. You have been discontinued from your heritage. You've been you. Because you don't know who you are, That's right. see what has happened was they brought us over here into slavery. And they stripped away all our knowledge. They, they stripped away all our understanding. They took away the language that we even spoke. So the things that we knew, we didn't come over here with. We didn't lay in here with and was able to teach each other and, and keep that knowledge going. Yeah, me. According to the scriptures. Read this yeah, again. Me. Okay, I'm going to let the Bible tell you. Read. Okay. I have you. Book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 17 and verse 11. Uh -huh. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. But to who? He got to who? And the context of his who? Who, who did he who? give that to? Who? Exactly. That's a good question. Who? That's a good question. Who did he give his laws to? I can preach this day, bro. You right. got to know what you're talking about, bro. And you got to know what you're talking about. Who? So right now, we're going to tell you who right now. Exactly. We already know about it. So listen up. Listen up, bro. Bring it out. The book of Psalms, chapter 78 and verse 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob. So he established a testimony in Jacob. Okay, the Jacob, hold who on, told wait, you, listen, who he told listen, you, bro, you know, listen, I'm about to tell you right now, I'm good listen, right, man. Jacob is the forefather of these people right here on this side, I understand all that. read, and appointed a law, a law, the other scriptures say he gave us a law for a heritage, hey, quick, I'm finna go. read, hey, who you talking to? and appointed a law in Israel, who did, who did he appoint that law in, who in Israel, Israel or Jacob's son. That's right. Look up that's you. Look up that's you. Dude, black folks. You know, exactly, exactly, bro. But listen, matter of fact, give me Ecclesiastes 5 and 1 right quick. I know it's good. Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. 
Now see what you're doing is you're stepping okay. over the wow. and you got questions. You got questions, you got to answer your question. But all that blabbering, we ain't gonna stand for. Right. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Keep thou foot when thou goest to the house of God. That's right. well, that's what you're right. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. What do you mean you? You step in the house of God what right now. You? That's what, what, that's you? what you're doing. I say. So keep thy foot mean keep your understanding to yourself. That's right. You can ask questions, no, brother. That's but you come up, that's, that's, that's exactly what, what I'm saying. It don't mean no, keep your feet saying. away from us hey, because we want you to walk saying, up. Bro. You got to step up, saying, brother. Bro. Read it again. Keep thy foot when thou go. Meaning keep your thoughts. That's your interpretation. Keep your thoughts. That's your interpretation. Okay, okay, listen. Keep thy foot when thy goest to the house of God and be more ready to hear. Be more ready to hear. I'm is that talking to about your feet or I'm is that talking about that. your ears no, and your mind? No, he said don't move forward unless you hear my word. That what he said, bro. Well, stop moving forward with your mouth. I, I'm gonna move you moving forward, forward with your I'm mouth. I'm going to do that one. You, you on point. I'm Shut your mouth right there, bro. for a minute and listen. That's right. No. And you can have some understanding, brother. How but all that blabbering, we ain't gonna go for it out here. How, how you gonna get understanding? Read, read that again. If you don't know understanding. I'm gonna give it to you. Keep thy foot when uh -huh. thou goest to the house of God uh -huh. and be more ready to hear than, what? than to give the sacrifices of fools. You giving a sacrifice of fools out here. Hold be hold quiet, brother. Hold give up. me some more than ever. You ready to hear? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh-uh, he wanna know how, how you do that. Oh, okay. For they consider not that they do evil. Cause you, you don't consider Yo, that you take do evil. Y'all taking them out of context. You don't consider that, bro. You gonna, you gonna watch You do not you consider that you do doing evil. Right Where are her? Excuse Where? Wisdom is coming out of our forehead. And our people hate the word. Hate the word of God. The book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 7. This is the this is that young man's problem right here. Wisdom is too high for a fool. Wisdom is too high for a fool. That's what you should be getting. Wisdom, ma'am, you walked up. You really should have asked the question. Because it's wisdom over here. We can be over here saying a whole lot of stuff, but it may not be hidden exactly to what your question is. We want you to come and ask questions. We come out here for you, sir. Proverbs 1. Proverbs chapter 1. Now Proverbs 1 and 1. 1 and 2. The book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 2. To know wisdom and instruction. To perceive the words of understanding. To receive the instruction of wisdom. You must, you must be trying to receive the words of wisdom, to receive the instructions of wisdom. Read. Justice and judgment of equity, to give submitting to the simple, to the young man knowledge. We want to come out here and give this wisdom to the simple, to the young men and the women. Read. And discretion, and discretion. We know when to be discreet, but there's a time when you must be overt with some of our people. It's a time of that. Read. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. If that young man, if that man would have any wisdom, he would have listened and his learning would have increased. But that ain't what happened. That brother was very rebellious. One and 20. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom cry without. This wisdom is crying out here right now. She uttered her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. Now see, we're not out here speaking our own words. Give me Ezekiel 2, verse 3. We're not out here speaking our own words. It'll be different if we were just out here just blabbing off at the mouth. We, we are commandment keepers. We keep the commandments of the Most High God, so we're going to do what he say. That's right. Yeah. What he say do? Read. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. He done sent us to you. Read. To a rebellious nation. We know you're rebellious. If God says you were. 
breach? They have rebelled against me. Uh -huh. They and their fathers have transgressed against me. Us oh. and our fathers and the forefathers who you have not seen. Give me verse 7. Verse 7. And thou shalt speak my words unto them. We should do what? Speak my words unto them. Uh -huh. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. We gonna speak the Most High God's word, whether our people listen or not. How you doing, man? Give me five minutes of your time. Don't keep walking. Five minutes of your time. Uh, we, we'll watch for you, sister. Just five minutes. Don't you know what you got on this modest? Give me this. Don't you know what you got on modest right now? Read up. Do you understand what's on your purse? It's this level. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to this, sister. The book of First Timothy. Chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. You got on modest apparel. The dress, the dress you got on, and you covered up, you're not showing everything. That's modest to the most high God. Read. The shame faces and sobriety. Uh -huh. Don't, don't seem like the drunk or own nothing out there. Read. With braided hair, or gold, or pearls, or costly array. See, those Man. things out there in the Bible, they say don't world, but it's saying don't let that be your glory. Deuteronomy 2.25. Deuteronomy 2.25. You, keep, you are keeping the commandments right now in a certain way, but you also breaking it in a way. I want you to know this. Read. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 22, verse 5. The woman should not wear that which pertains unto a man. So the Bible says a woman should wear that which pertains to a man. That's pain. Yeah. The sister got the modest dress out there. That's glorious and glorified young women. This needs to be an everyday thing in our community because God said it must be. That's right. You see that? Let me go to Corinthians. Corinthians 11. But this is what you must know too. And I know you were just walking by at the time, but, but this is for a future reference. You know, preach. The book of Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is a man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonored his head. So every man praying or prophesying, reading out of this book, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. That's the man. That's the man. That's the man. That's the man. That's right, sister. Read. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered, dishonored her head. So right now, you uh, but you were just walking by. So, so this is not against me. This is what your what your will is right now. So now, now from now on, from this day forward, every time you read the Bible, it's going to be Let me show you about this. What, 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 Okay, so you can wear a scarf. They make a scarf made with a hair wrap. Head wrap. You can go back and cover your head with it. And in our congregation, the sisters cover their heads while we're in, in, in the uh, midst of reading the Bible. Uh, 1661 Lamar. Like Lamar and Willie and everything. Now, we ain't no church. So you come in, the, the women cover their head, and that's when the Bible coming out of your brain. And they're beautiful. That's a royal thing. You know? Give me about the bridge the number that take. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make their bridges in the borders of their garments. So it said, bid the children of Israel that they make bridges in the borders of their garments. I know your purse is not a garment, but you got it on. It'd be better, better than that. As a matter of fact, you can keep it in the commandments if you want to have bridges on your dress. But you got them on your purse right now. You see what the brother got on their on they shirt? These are bridges. That's a commandment of the Most High God if you got them on your purse. So you in order in some way. But I know you didn't know this because I know your pastor never read this. Bring it out! See, those things right there are meant to be read over and over. 
Don't think read. myself a minute to, to be talked to the people, not to read it one day, 18 years ago, and you never heard it again. Throughout the generations. This is throughout our generations. Are we still generating as a people? We still generating. So that's a commandment for help. Yeah, 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 and that they put upon the fridge of the borders a ribbon of blue. So we're supposed to put a ribbon of blue on our on the borders of our shirts. You see that? And it should be unto you for a bridge that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. That's what it's for. So we won't get the commandments of the Lord. That's why your preacher should have brought this out. And he should have kept it. It's easy game. Was Christ and American and Jewish and Jewish and Jewish and Jewish not Okay, it's different. No, it's Jerusalem. Okay, okay. It's in Israel. So, so, I mean, I heard you say you was in, you're battling with the North and the South American things. Right, right, right. And Africa, because when you when you look at the map, the way the map is drawn, and you put it all together, it's a puzzle. Okay. You know what I mean? It 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 looks like a puzzle. Okay. Yeah, read it, read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox know of his owner, and the ass his master's crib. So an ox and an ass are pretty dumb animals. Yeah. It said the ox know of his owner, right. and the ass know where his home is. Okay. Read. But Israel does not know. But the Israelite do not know. They're saying that Israel, even today, does not know. They don't know who they are. They don't know who they master is. They don't know where their homeland is. Oh, Galatians. They don't know where their homeland is. Okay, is that when most of these people who are used to That was after that. That was in the book of Isaiah right there. Most of them are dead right here. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is the mother of us all. That's the motherland right there. So now, when you say you're, you're battling between the Americans, you don't have to battle against that thing. Because a white man by the name of Americo Vespucci is the name of America. Okay, so you're not from the, from the uh, balls, from the nutsack of that man. You didn't come from his sperm. Our people did not come from his sperm, so we can't be American. You see what I'm saying? For instance, the Indians that were here, they didn't come from that man. They were already here. And so they're not Americans, even though they named this land America. tribes of Israel, his son uh -huh. had tribes. Uh -huh. Read what you got. This is, why, this is another reason why you don't know who you are. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, 
shall discontinue from thy heritage. We have discontinued from our heritage as a people. We have discontinued from the knowledge of knowing who we are. But let me ask you this right here. Uh, what about after the flood? They had um, Ham, Shem, and Jim. Uh-huh. And Shem, Jeff, and Uh-huh. Okay. Of Mizraim. 
Okay. A white man by the name of Leo Skippy is Africanus named that land after himself. Mm -hmm. So if a white man named that land, those people are not going to be in land. That's why they're not African. <laughs> but that land but that land was conquered and named. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16. Uh -huh. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So this is talking about the Israelites. Moses told the Israelites, these are curses that will come upon you not on this, if you do not listen and obey the law, statutes, and commandments of God. This is what was told to the Israelites. Read. Cursed shall be, cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed Shall thou be in the field? Who was cursed? Who was cursed in the field in the birth? We got this sign. Who was cursed in the field in the birth? Who was? Who was that? Who was that down there? Who did that happen? Bring it out. That happened to us. Who's cursed in the city? In every city in the world, as a people, who gets shot down? Who got the highest AIDS rate? The highest venereal disease? The, the highest uh, low education rate? The most most communities with no father and mother in the house. With them. We're the ones cursed in the cities of the world. We are. Keep reading. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. The scripture said, curse shall be our basket and our store. What do you do with a basket? Yeah, he said he put down the... You put goods in a basket. Some of us right now need wit. Some of us right now need help from the government because our baskets are not being full. This is what the scripture is talking about. And it said, curse shall be your store. Where are our stores at as a people? These stores, Cash America, Beauty Weeds, Family Dollar. Metro PCS, Walgreens, Churches, Village Mart, Dixie Queen, Save a Lot. These are not our stores. We don't own them. They're owned by another nation of people. The scripture said, Curse should be our best in our store. We are the nation of people who are cursed in that way. These things are being revealed in these days. The prophecies of the, prophecies of the Bible are being set free on our people. We broke this and give for it. Chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which shall brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of work, the house of bondage. So the land of Egypt and the house of bondage is another one. So when he said that to the Israelites, they knew what he was talking about when he said you will be going back to Egypt again. Read that again from the top. And the, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship or bondage again. With ships. Who went into bondage? Slavery owned slave ships. We did. There is no historical fact ever about another nation of people who went into slavery, bondage again on ships. But us. Yeah. Right? But way whereof I spake unto thee. Uh -huh. You said just like I say it's gonna happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. He said, we won't see the land that they're standing in again. Read. And there ye shall be sold. He said, and there, when you get off of those slave ships, you shall be what? 
sold. You shall be what? Sold. Were we not sold when we got off of those slave ships? You know? Hold on, let me, let me finish up with this. Sold unto your enemies. To our enemies. God called the people who bought us and sold us our enemies. Yeah. For bond men, for slave men as we know. And bond women. And the women was working on the plantation fields too. They were working in Massa House too. They were getting whipped too. They were getting raped too. That's why we are multicolors. That's why, that's why we are the children of Israel. Okay, so, so you know your nationality now. You are not black, you are not a man. What's your what's your nationality again? Judah! You said Judah, sister? That's, That's right. That's right. Yeah. All praise. All praise. So the scripture said wisdom is the principal thing. Above all things, get wisdom and understanding. We are here trying to give them the pure sense to our people. Because our people sleep in these days. We need to wake up. Give me Romans 13 and 11 right quick. Sometimes if you try to Shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.